Welcome to the PTG Creative channel. Today we're looking at 20 new features in Adobe Photoshop 2020. Adobe Photoshop 2020 is an amazing software. And if you're new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified as we release new tutorials three times every week. So let's jump right in. You're welcome once again. Um, we have 20 new features of the Adobe Photoshop 2020. It's amazing, amazing improvement on the previous um, versions with CS4, CS5, CS6, Photoshop CC 2019, now 2020. Amazing, amazing. They made it a lot easier for even complete Nobi to use Photoshop and enjoy it. All right, let's get started. Number one on the list is the interface. The interface is amazing. Now, if you click on Find New, you have this beautiful interface. Very amazing, very beautiful, where you can select, you know, recent files that you've done before. Um, and you have saved options here. That's the documents you've saved before. Then here you have um, precepts of works and sizes. You have amazing, um, one pretty thing here is, the amazing mock-ups that you can choose from and various uh, photoshop sizes and you can also do your custom size you can give your page or your document or your canvas uh, a particular custom size you want you can use any of the measuring unit here you can enter your, your measuring unit here i say four by four i like using four by four from designing for the social media then the resolution here i like it to be 300 then you have the color mode I just love the arrangement. The arrangement is quite different from the previous Photoshop, the lower versions. And you can select here. This is amazing. Then you have your create. Then boom, you create a document and you have your document. That's so amazing. And also you can hit your home button. It takes you to this beautiful interface. Usually when you open your Photoshop, you know, you see something like this first. This is the first, you know, interface that you, you meet. This is just pretty amazing. You can learn now they've incorporated you know the the up menus such that you can learn photoshop directly from your application your work your previous work lightroom photos the cloud document create new open now these are some of the works that um, open before are done before in photoshop 2020 that's why it's showing so you have this beautiful beautiful feature here you can toggle back to the page by clicking on that button and i observed that the logo itself has also been modified now you have this round logo on like you know you know the regular square having a sharp edges you have this beautiful round edges it's so so amazing so you can click let's click on it to toggle back the next is the object selection tool amazing tool you know now photoshop has improved your selection such that you can quickly select object within few seconds where is the object selection to this is the object selection to you can click on it and one amazing feature also that i observe is that photoshop uh, literally incorporated you know a short gif like a short explanation of what each tool is when you point or over on the tool it shows you exactly what it does look at this is the object selection to set finds and automatically selects an object inside a defined region and it shows you exactly how you can use it that's pretty amazing so you click on it make sure you click on your object or your layer when you drag just with a rectangle automatically you know within few seconds you can have your object selected and that's for the rectangles you can also toggle through you come to the option bar you can use the lasso tool in case you want to you know select let's say you have more than one image you want to select it boom all right you want to select with a, with a rectangle tool you can actually select everything at once just drawing out a rectangle and automatically select out you know the the object however if you don't want you know everything to be selected you just want a particular you know layer or an object or image to be selected in the image you can come and toggle it through to lasso let's say i want to select this part alone then i draw it with my lasso too now you will all see that this particular object has been selected 
another thing that is new in this Photoshop is the select subject it's amazing select subject when you click on select subject it also automatically selects out the object in the image and now we have it as select a mark and now you open a dialog box where you can literally see what is happening your red your radials you know which affects the edges your transparency you know this transparency just you can see the transparency effect on the background because this is already selected so that's why it's trying to show us the transparency you have your radials that's really want to make it smooth you want the feather you can see the effect usually i don't like too much of feather just just leave it um, then you have the contrast you have, so when you're done with your editing on the property you can just hit your ok button and then you have your selection okay then the next two is the undo and the redo function beautiful just use your ctrl z ctrl z you know it toggles back it takes you back in time you can come to windows and let's say history bar all right now you have lots of actions that have been carried out here so you can just go back to you can use your redo is ctrl shift z while your undo is just ctrl z ctrl z and takes it back or like before that you would have to ctrl z then ctrl alt z then ctrl alt z to take it to the you know previous actions taken but in this uh, Photoshop 2020, you just do Ctrl Z and it will take you all back to back in time to you know in your actions. All right, that's that's amazing. That's a beautiful feature that makes it a lot easier for users. The next feature is apply transformation. Let's say you want to resize, you have to apply transformation. You know, you know it's a lot easier now. It's a lot easier. You can just click, just double click on it and say you apply transformation and you wanted to click on another object unlike the, the previous versions. Before you click on any other two, you have to apply transformation or in Photoshop 2020, if you've resized, you can just click on another tool and continue working with that particular tool. There's a padlock here. To open it, you can just drag and it comes up with this convert to normal layer. You convert to normal layer and continue using it. The next one is exporting. You can export your layer from the canvas without even going to fire. You can export this layer. Let's say I want to, let's, let me just uh, quickly trim it. Let me use the object selection to use a re rectangle. Now once you select this, then I right click and copy, let's say, then I have this, I want to export this as PNG. I can export it right from here, like without going to file. I'll just right click on my layer, the particular layer, then look at, I can export, quick export as PNG or export here in case you want to export in other uh, format, export as uh, JPEG, export whatever format you want to use let's say you want to export as png you just click png then let's say image png png export now it has expected it now let me open it and just come open it's about png export it's very very fast now look at the image that we exported just now very very fast very very in split seconds you're done yes i find it so so amazing the next one is scaling resizing using your transformation you want to resize lower version they have you have to use your shift key to hold before you can resize you know evenly use your alt key you know you want to resize and make it perfect uh, you know but now in Photoshop 2020, you just have to go to any of this, either the diagonal, just resize it down. And it's even. You have a perfect, you know, let's say I want to make everything bigger than this. 
you can just resize scale up and it affects everything just using this now you can now use your shift key you know to apply a, a free you know transformation like you want to resize it anyhow you want you have to hold your shift key that's like the opposite of what was obtainable in the other uh, lower versions then you can use the alt key to re resize everything you know also at once resize from the center and it's just amazing of course your control key is the normal the control key is the normal to to go through this that's amazing so the next okay let's let's try it out with object let's try it out with object let me draw this out let me hide this put this from here I can resize you can see that it's it's resizing from this point to try it as from there too see this see this just dragging I'm not holding any key just dragging out I can see this too so literally you're resizing from that particular angle the opposite angle okay now let's say I want to resize I want to make it longer if I if I do this it makes it but I don't want the square but I just want to be a little vertical so I just hold my shift key hold my shift key and drag this hold my shift key and drag this that's like a direct opposite of what used to be in the lower versions now that's that's amazing makes it a lot easier for usage okay the next two the next two is the blend option you know where you blend well this you can also achieve this in other um, uh, um, you know version this is also very amazing too started to give this out away where you can blend two options you can blend like this these are two different images you know use the option the blend option to get it out so how was it done let me just get out just dragging this out simple okay this this is the first image and this is the second image but we need to blend it together so what do we do i just click on this i can double click on it i can right click on it come to blending option then you have you can have this this is for the layer on top this is for the layer on top and this is for the layer beneath it so you can have this just neatly you can drag this down if you want and as I want to separate it I'll just hold my alt key and separate just hold my alt key and separate it and just have that fine it's too much I guess You just toggle it and try to achieve what you want. Boom. This is amazing. This is amazing. The next one is quick action on the properties. Amazing. There's a beautiful um, add on this like properties. You can come and you know, you can go to the windows, click on properties and you have this beautiful you know palette coming out then you can actually use quick action to achieve what you want this you want to remove the background you can just click on remove background then it would trim out the background for you and this is just wonderful like photoshop has made trimming editing of images so much easier in photoshop 2020 and really really must comment that so let's let's give this and automatically created a max a clip max of 
course you don't have you don't expect the air to be so much perfect as you want it that is subject to your own um, so you can use the property to do quite a lot and have your toggle through here the align and distribute quick select an object it doesn't select already so we don't have to do all of that so the quick action on that property is so amazing so let's go to the next two the next one is the zoom now i find this very interesting you can use the zoom tool to zoom closely to an object but now If I want to zoom out, I can just drag out. If I want to zoom out, zoom in, I drag in. If I want to zoom out, I drag out. I don't need to hold my Alt key. But that's one feature that I, it's very, very exciting. But what I want to really show you is, I want to take, for example, you want to zoom to a particular object. Let me, let me make this two. I make this smaller. Okay. Take for example, I want to, let me give this blue. Blue. I want to zoom to this particular object. I don't want to see any other thing. I just want to see all of this. Now, you can zoom to this selected object by just holding your Alt key and clicking on that object on the layer palette. And it zoom to the particular the selected object. And this is just pretty amazing. You want to zoom back and just click on, you know, the bigger picture of it. Want to zoom closer. Whilst holding the Alt key, you can still click on any other ones to zoom close to it, and it's just amazing, just amazing, just amazing. And the zoom tool also, you can drag out, drag in, drag out. And this is just super amazing, <laughs> super amazing, amazing. This is I must really comment Photoshop 2020 for that. The next one is the content aware fear. The content aware field has been improved upon. Um, if I click on my, let me drag out something. You drag out. You come to edit, you come to content aware. Now this time around it opens a dialog box entirely, an environment entirely, where you can see so many things you, you can manipulate how you want to toggle through. Zoom this close if I want. Now literally you can see what you're editing. You can use the auto. You can just toggle through it and get whatever thing you want, basically. If you want a high, if you want it low, default. Custom is you can actually apply. You wait for it. You can see the effect literally here. But if it's auto, auto automatically it arranges it for you. The text layer. Now when I click, it automatically gives me a default text and default um, font, whatever font. So let's say I want to use um, to write. Okay, let me just choose any one of this. Let me type ladies. Now I have this. This is just amazing. I can. The new feature here is that. Let me give it white. The new feature here is that if I want to edit this, I can just double click and it, it just gives me a platform to edit. So I can just type um, women. The next one is selecting colors. 
one thing that amazes me about Photoshop 2020 is how easy now it is to select colors. I can just click on my colors. Let's let me select another object. Unlike before, you have to click, then you apply the color with Control Alt, uh, Control Backspace. It's still applicable though. But another amazing thing is I can just click. I, I click on my object. And drag the let me use the swatch. I can drag this and drop it. I can just drag the color if I want and drop. All right. The next one is you can isolate layers. Let's take for example, I want to edit this. I can just right click on it and isolate layer. Every other thing will not be selected. I can't really literally manipulate through. I just have only this layer. And you have it the layer palette here. You have it alone on the layer palette. Transform wrap is so amazing too. When you click, when you click on the edge, you can come. Let's say you want to have grid lines and the like, you can just have your default grid lines. You can have three, you can have four, you can have five. You know, say so you just want to manipulate. Manipulate, of course, you don't want to do that to any image. station where it comes really handy so you can do any manipulation with just this I just made these guys ugly and I made I left this beautiful now the next one is the frame now I have a beautiful frame tool for images something like you have in Corel the way you power clip when you have that and drag this out this is the two control Z this is it here frame I can get with the K shortcut on the keyboard just drag it out then you have this you can move the image another beautiful thing is the precept the precept for the pattern the pattern is amazing so you come to you can come here pattern then it opens a pattern view i can just i have trees i have different trees you know have grass this is just amazing you can do beautiful designs with this I have grass here I have grass and I have water water effect of course you can always uh, manipulate them if you want I like this you can manipulate them you can Manipulate them, carry, drag, just particular. That, that's one beautiful thing about it. You just drag it. Let's use this. The next one is the now. Before we used to have under file, just see your save save for web here. But it's no longer on that save. It's no longer under file directly. It's under export. You can get it under export. You see save for web here. Can just click on it then it brings out this dialog box you can select if it's png you can select whatever format you want select the quality here the medium whether it's high whatever thing you want to do just do it you can give it precept then when you are done you can save it you ask it for name use you can enter it web now another beautiful feature is that you can actually toggle through on your toolbox you can toggle through different things the different tools by holding your alt key when you hold the alt key and click it moves to the next tool this is another feature amazing feature here click it toggles through holding the alt key toggles through when you hold the alt key instead of having to click down hold it before this comes out you can just hold the alt key and it toggles through another tool that's been added in 2020 is the artboard tool. The artboard tool used to resize your artboard into whatever it's just like resizing it literally to resizing the workspace 
where you work where you design resize it make it much bigger if you want make it much smaller you know you can add another artboard so I want to add another artboard you know this is another artboard. it's about two where you can work save export both of them and there you go all right um one last feature is observe that Photoshop 2020 they've greatly improved their snap to grid when you resize object it's much easier you see this you know pink lines it helps you to know whether it's in the center whether it's it's just amazing when you resize also it just snaps to grid and it's just beautiful